Well, with cinemas still closed, many of us are running out of something new to watch at home. Don't worry, because there are plenty of new releases coming to DVD and digital. And Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabber Davis is going to tell us all about it. Good morning to you, Jabs. Now, we can't travel abroad right now, of course, but there's a new film that can take us on a virtual trip. Sounds good. Good morning, Mon. Of course, we can't travel, we can't go to the movies, and most of us can't get to a great restaurant just yet. So here's a film that ticks all three boxes. It's the fourth and final film in the series of The Trip, which comes from Rob Brydon and Steve Coogan, two sometime mates who travel abroad under the guise of writing reviews for The Observer in the UK. It's turned into a six-part TV series that's broadcast on UK TV, and then they package it up as a film. The guys cruise around the Greek islands, taking in the beautiful sights, eating at Michelin-starred restaurants, and trying to crack each other up. Let's take a look at the trip to Greece. I saw my problems and I see we got a loving thing, we've got it treated right. There ain't no danger, we can go too far. We start believing are you singing Greece because we be we're we in Greece? Greece is the word. I always want more from these two guys. I know they're capable of more. Maybe I need to seek out the TV series. It is a timely escape. Three stars for the trip to Greece. That's available on DVD and digital in the coming week. Um, if you're in lockdown, you know, as most of us are, worth checking out. Something the whole family enjoyed. Uh, Ruby, Melissa and I laughed and cried at Military Wives. This comes from the director of The Full Monty. And it's about a bunch of women who live on a base. Their husbands go to war in Afghanistan in 2011. They form a Military Wives Choir which is actually a thing. This is based on a true story. Um, some fantastic 80s pop hits. Kristen Scott Thomas, who's the kind of snarky colonel's wife, who's tasked with getting them all together. They have a performance at the Royal Albert Hall um, and really makes you wonder about the, the partners of, of the people that are in our armed forces, what an incredible position they are in when their partners go off uh, overseas into a war zone for six months. So really beautiful film. Four stars for military mm. wives. It hits all the right notes. Keep an eye out for this one coming to DVD and digital. And lastly, real quick, haven't had a chance to watch this one in full. Ben Affleck um, was in cinemas back in March. Unfortunately, this film was pulled as the cinemas started to close. The Way Back, it's called. Um, he is invited back to his high school to coach the basketball team that's struggling. Ben Affleck plays an alcoholic and the two stories are kind of intertwined together, getting a lot of, um, you know, a lot of mixed reviews, this one. And of course, basketball, the hot topic, thanks to the Michael Jordan documentary on Netflix. So there you go, guys. A couple of choices to catch from home. I've watched that one. It's a good one. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's, okay. ex it's excellent. I love everything Ben Affleck does, though. Yeah. He makes a good movie. He does. Even that one that he did with Jennifer... Whatever her name is. Even that one. Yeah. <laughs> J-Lo. <laughs> Jersey, Jersey girl. girl. You even love that one. And we also wow. say thanks somewhere in there to Jabber. Thank well. you, Jab. <laughs> so much. Always good to see you. Don't go anywhere. Weekend Sunrise is back in just a moment.